We want the killing to stop, and we don't want only the children to get, get to stop getting killed. We want everyone there to stop getting killed because it is not a war against Hamas. And I know we keep having to say that, but apparently some people still think it is. It is not a war against Hamas. It's a war against Palestinians. Oh, uh, what? government is still giving weapon parts to Israel. The Dutch government is complicit in this genocide. And it's not even calling for a ceasefire. But apart from the more than 20,000 people killed on Gaza, what really brought the Dutch government into action was the fact that the shipping containers couldn't pass the Red Sea because the Houthis from Yemen were blocking the sea road to Israel. in this world should do. Boycott, divest, sanction Israel! Three Dutch organizations, three organizations went to court. They sued the Dutch government to force them to stop giving weapons to Israel. And in the lower court, they lost. Our judges said it's fine to keep bombing Gaza. That's what they said. But we don't stop there. This Monday, there will be the higher court. At 9 o'clock in the morning, in The Hague, at the court. We will stand and we will shout. And we will march and we will protest together. يقول سيس فاير ناو ان فري بالستينا واي ادم يو تولد ذات لماذا يا ادم انت الطفل الصغير تقول هذا واي ادم ا ليتل بوي از سينج سيس فاير هي كان سي كلير ذان ابيرنتلي اول بوليتيكال باورز ان ذا وورلد كم ادم از بيج هيرو از بيج هيرو هي اوريدي اول اول ذا ديز مور ذان هاو ماتش ديز يو كم ويز اس يو كان جو دانيامي افري دي ادم ويز اس فروم 7 تو 9 yeah, like the thousands of other uh, Palestinians in the diaspora, it has been, today marks the seventh day of complete blackout. There is no telecommunication, no signals, and this is one of the worst things that they can do to us Palestinians in the diaspora. This is one of the most horrific things that they can do to us. And also to the Palestinians in, Ga in, Ga in Gaza. Imagine if you're injured, if you're bombed, there is no signal. So you can't call for an ambulance. And if you're injured, you're, you're counted as dead, basically. Because there, no, there are barely any functioning hospitals left. No hospitals left in the north and only one left in the south and two days ago it was surrounded by Israeli tanks, at the Israeli tanks it was bombarded heavily and in the Nasser hospital in Khan Yunus they're committing atrocities in every single point in Palestine in Gaza Shame. More than 30,000 have been killed, martyred. Each and every one is innocent. Each and every single Palestinian is innocent. 
because we are born free. Some of us chose to fight, some of us chose to fight and that is our right. And resistance, it is under international law prohibitable. So Israel does not have no say in saying that they have the right to self on self-defense. Palestine, Gaza is occupied, occupied territories. So Israel does not have any right to claim that they have the right to self-defense from the territory that they occupy. But we Palestinians have the right to defend ourselves, have the right to fight and resist our occupation. something that I've seen circulating online. It's about the atrocity that happened in the north of Gaza when some aid trucks arrived to the north of Gaza. And without, yeah, an aid truck arrived with the flower and, and people, thousands of Gazans, who have been starving for months of course went to receive the aid trucks to receive the flour to feed their children to feed themselves and what the Israeli occupation did is started shooting and shelling at them at, yeah, at the starving Palestinians in Gaza in the north part I'm going to share with you a story of a witness to the atrocity and I'm just going to re read the post as it, as it says. Ahmad Abid and his brother were among hundreds that headed to a Rashid street after hearing they could buy flour from trucks that would be passing by. They knew it would be a risk, but the food the trucks were affordable compared to locally sourced food. However, like four sources, like four scores, scores other, when they got to the Nabulsi roundabout, their journey took a turn for the worse. And a quote from Muhammad Is Salim, a witness, an eyewitness. As we crossed the Nabulsi roundabout, an Israeli army tank appeared from behind a sand hill and started shooting at the people randomly. At the same time, quadcopter planes started attacking us and the hundreds of people, including children around us. So what they did, the Israeli tanks were behind like a hill. The civilians did not see it, so they went to the aid, aid truck and as soon as they were in hundreds, they started massacring them. They started shooting at them. That resulted in no less than 50 martyrs. 50 were killed for just wanting food, for being deliberately starve and seek in food. They were killed by the Israeli Zionist army.